In America's Midwest, incredible devastation marks the path of the floods. 90,000 pieces of rolling stock have been swamped, bridges wrecked, and whole communities laid waste. As the waters slowly recede, scores of trapped cars are revealed. 41 deaths are so far reported, and half a million people are still displaced, their homes or workplaces damaged or destroyed. From Washington, President Truman flies over a million and a half acres of ruined crops in his home state. With his experts, he plans relief for an area of 11,000 square miles. While the president flies overhead, surviving livestock is rounded up, but thousands must perish if help cannot reach them in time. Floods play strange tricks in their passage. For instance, here's a pig on top of a car. And spread waste through the towns is the rich topsoil swept away by the flood. As Congress rushes through a 10 million pound vote in aid, life slowly resumes. But the danger grows elsewhere as the on-sweeping floods reach the greatest height in a hundred years.